this afternoon we are in our bee yard, as you can tell, and um, and um, the bees are really out and about today because we had just finished extracting our last honey and we put the wet supers uh, over there in front of the cooler, which is behind this barn that is behind me, and they are cleaning up, they are cleaning it up for us. So we're letting them clean up all of the excess honey that we did not get out when you spin it in the honey extractor. And they're going to clean that up perfectly for us to store those honey supers for them for next spring. So that is what the bees are really busy doing today. As you can see, I mean, they're, they're everywhere. They're really busy. And we have already started feeding our bees. So they're calm. They're not aggressive anymore because of the dearth. We've gotten past that now because we've been feeding them now for a few weeks. So they're kind of just back to doing what they need to do before winter. So they're very, very, uh, calm again. So that's how we like it, right? So anyways, what we're going to talk about today is about bees and sleep. This is kind of a different thing that a lot of people might not know about and you might not think about either when you think about a honey. So let me tell you something that my husband and I found out um, through research and just through reading things about bees, that bees actually do sleep. They sleep at night about five to seven hours. I have to, I have my notes here, so let's make sure that I tell you the right thing because I can't always remember everything exactly. But um, let me see here, five to seven hours, I believe. Yes, five to seven hours per night. Now, also, during the day, like, so like, during the busy nectar and pollen season, which of course we all know is late spring into summer when they're really really busy collecting all of the stuff that they can collect you know some bees may they're going to kind of be on different schedules right so some bees may not get that five to seven hours of sleep all at night so and also they're so busy during the day they're going to use up a lot more energy during that pollen season than what they're going to do like around this time of year so they're going to need even more sleep than, than the five to seven hours, or they're not getting a complete five to seven hours in the spring and summer. So what they do is they take little baby cat naps. And it's so cute, they're just adorable. So they'll take a cat nap and it, let me see what it tells us. I think it was just like a couple of seconds. It wasn't very much at all. Yes, 15 to 30 seconds for a honeybee is a cat nap. And that's sufficient for them to be able to get enough to be re-energized do their work and that's really cute because we also saw a little picture of a bee now we haven't studied our bees to point to the point where we would see this but if we did we probably would is that if you watch a bee and it goes to sleep it could fall over it's such a sound sleeper that's adorable I mean can you imagine seeing one of these little honey bees look how cute they are and they get so tired from flapping their wings I'm doing their hard work, they just fall over because they're so exhausted. That'd be just so cute. That'd be so cute to see them. But anyways, so, um, okay, so we know about this. And now, now you might ask the reason why do, um, why do the bees need to sleep, right? You might say, well, that seems weird to me that a honeybee would need to sleep because they are always, when we see them, they're always so active, right? You never barely ever see a honeybee just sitting around doing nothing, right? So, the reason that they sleep is because it helps with their memory. It's just like a person, right? It's very similar to a person. When we're tired and we don't get a lot of sleep, our memory is not the best, right? I mean, you can't remember things. You can get, if, you get, if you're extremely tired, you could get confused. You know, you're not going to be able to learn. You know, they say kids need a lot of sleep to do well in school. Very important, right? So your mind and your memory, it, it is dependent on sleep, you know, for people. And so same, the way God made honeybees is the same way. They need it for their memory. Because if you think about it, a honeybee needs a very good memory. You may ask me, well, why do they need a very good memory? Well, think about it. The worker bees, which is your, your majority of your bees in the hive, they are the ones going out, finding food, finding water, and coming back to the hive. Now, 
the first couple bees or something like that um, will go out and if they find something that is worth that has a lot of food, a lot of flowers, a lot of nectar, or water, if, if their job was getting the water that day, they, of course, need to tell their sisters in the hive, hey, come over here, right? So they're going to fly back, and they're going to do their little dance, and they're going to tell them how to get to that area. Think about that. That is amazing how God made them to be able to do that, and they understand each other, and it's successful. It works. So, from having that sleep, they can come back and tell their sisters, hey, I found food, I found water, come with me. And this is where the directions are. It would be like us telling a, a, a friend, hey, I really found a great ice cream place, right? It's, you know, give them the direction. Same thing with the bees, right? But if we were tired, the bees are tired, sometimes you might make have them make a wrong turn, right? And then they wouldn't find the destination that they need to find. So, this is why sleep is important. This is amazing honeybee stuff. Ha amazing honeybee stuff. Okay, and now also, let me check on my notes here. I'm sorry. So also, if a bee is tired, so what if you have honeybees or you saw a couple honey of your honeybees and they were acting abnormal? This is how they would be acting abnormal. They would be not flying very fast. They would be, you know, just uh, on the rocks like if you have a gravel driveway or if you have rocks, they would just be like on the pavement, on the rocks, on the grass, but not doing anything, right? They're just like, you're like, there's no flowers there, there's nothing there, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? Um, you know, they could be on the road, they could be anywhere that would be abnormal for a honeybee to be, and they would just be sitting there. And, um, or also, if it was bad weather out, and it wouldn't be like the ideal time for a bee to be out, but you might see a couple out of their hive. And you're going to be like, what are you doing? This is not smart. You should be in the hive. Well, what happened? They were tired. And they got disoriented. So they don't know how to get back to their hive. Or they're too tired to fly back to their hive. So it's so important that a honeybee gets its rest. It, they, it, it is, it's like, you know, they need it just like we need it. So rest is definitely a very important thing. Same with other animals too, right? But especially for the honeybee, because think about it, you know, that bee is very little. It's going to fly. They fly lots of places. Well, that's a long way for the honeybee. For us, not as long. But for the honeybee, that's a long way that they're flying. If they are tired and they get disoriented, or they are too tired to fly back to their hive, guess what? They're not going to make it back, and they're not going to make it. They will end up dying where they are. Um, for a number of different reasons, but the, the fact of the matter is they were not successful Right to come back to their hive to be part of that hive and do their job well So they need their sleep. They need their sleep. So it's really a, it's really amazing to think that because you normally do not think about Honeybees in that way, but this is another way if you have bees or if you thinking about getting bees or if you just like to know about bees even if you don't have them um, this is another interesting fact and another interesting way that God created these and what they need to be successful. And then you can look at it, you know, compare it to other things of God's creation, humans, other animals. Why did God make sleep, right? He made it for us too. He rested on the seventh day, right? That is, there's a reason. There is a biblical reason why sleep is important. So, like I said, there is a biblical reason why sleep is important, right? I mean, it's very, it's just like everything else that is important and that it's good, there's always a biblical reason. So, anyways, that's how, that's the information why sleep is important for honeybees, which is another one of God's amazing creatures. We love them. They are just amazing. The more you learn about them, the more they're just going to amaze you as well, I really think. And I mean, and the honey that we get in return for caring for them is outstanding as well. And we're very thankful, we're very grateful for God creating honeybees so we can enjoy the delicious honey. And it's very healthy for you too. So please check back to see more of our bee videos. And oh yeah, and also I wanna say, pardon the wind, I have to still get us a microphone, so we just, we do not edit our videos, of course, we just video them and then let you guys see them, because we don't want it to be fake, right? We just want it to be real, our lifestyle, exactly how our lifestyle is, 
to share it with you guys. But we are going to get a microphone to make it easier to hear during different situations. But we haven't got that yet, so I'm sorry about that. But anyways, please check back to see as our bees, you know, what we do with them while it gets close to winter and then in the winter, of course, and then check back next spring because there's going to be amazing things happen with these bees. I just know God has way cool, fun stuff in store with these bees next year. And also please subscribe if you haven't. We want to get to 1,500 subscribers by the end of the year. This is October and we are at 1,300. So please, 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 that would be amazing. That would help us be able to bless you guys more and share our lifestyle and God's glory with you every day and how much we're thankful for it and grateful for it as well. And push a thumbs up and leave comments because we love all the comments too. And have a great day. Bye.